Hello everyone, Father Peter Corvello coming to you from St. Angela Marici Parish in Pacific Grove, California. I'd like to visit with you today about a recent communication from our Bishop, Danny Garcia. After almost two and a half years of dealing with the coronavirus and the pandemic, Bishop Danny is encouraging us once again to fully participate in Sunday Eucharist in a couple of different manners. First of all, uh, during the pandemic, we were all dispensed from the obligation of coming together for Sunday Mass. While most of us consider Sunday Mass an opportunity to give God thanks and praise uh, through the gift of the Eucharist, uh, we're simply reminded once again by our Bishop that as Christians we're called to come together on Sundays, the day of the resurrection, and lift up our voices, our hearts, our minds, our souls to God in thanksgiving. And we do this through the Eucharist. So our participation here in our own parish church is vital. So we encourage you to please come and participate. Maybe you've been refraining uh, due to the virus. Please keep in mind, you can always wear your mask, keep socially distant, hand sanitizers are available. So every precaution that you feel would make you comfortable is still available to you. But in the same vein, we are called as Christians to come together uh, and worship God in the presence of our brothers and sisters as a church community. So please come, we have masses. As you know, most of you know our schedule, five o'clock on Saturday, eight, 10 and 12 on Sundays. So our participation as God's people is vital to what it means to be church, vital what it means to be a family of faith. Secondly, our bishop is encouraging parishes now to once again offer the precious blood, the cup uh, that we can receive in addition to receiving the consecrated host, the body of Christ, as well as the blood of Christ. This is optional. We're never obligated to receive from the cup. However, it is being made available to us once again. Keep in mind that Eucharistic ministers are trained to wipe the cup after each person partakes and to turn the cup for ongoing safety. This is a common practice. And science has proven that it actually is quite safe. However, no one is ever obliged or forced to receive from the cup. It is here for your opportunity should you desire to receive the precious blood in this way. If you were a Eucharistic minister before the beginning of COVID pandemic, we would love to have you back. We are in need of additional Eucharistic ministers. If you would kindly consider becoming a Eucharistic minister, we would greatly appreciate your help. Please talk to me on the weekend, talk to Jordan Lewis, who's often here at Mass, or contact our parish office. We're always glad to welcome new ministers into the fold of our liturgical celebrations. So once again, we're encouraged to come and participate at Sunday Eucharist. And this weekend, the precious blood will be made available by offering the cup during the communion procession. God bless you as we continue to gather as God's people and continue to build bonds of being a family of faith. The pandemic still poses a threat and we want to be sure that everyone feels safe. When you come, there's still hand sanitizer available. If you like to wear a mask or keep socially distant, those are your decisions and prerogatives, which we do not discourage, but rather encourage. May God bless us all as a community of faith and as God's children throughout the world. Let's continue to pray for everyone's safety, everyone's health and state of good state of mind, and for peace throughout our world. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you.